Okay, I'm now going to go for doing the two upstands here. This is how the main body attaches um, to the midriff part. So I'm going to work mostly on this surface. And they are, they're both identical, so you can do one and then mirror it over, so it shouldn't take too, too long. So let's just go onto that face, press the space bar, click on that face, and there we go. I'm just going to switch off um, my real view graphics and shadow. That actually saves a little bit of processing memory. And I'm going to set up the area I'm going to draw this. So let's go to sketch. Okay, on that one. And I'm going to go to center line which I'm going to put on that face down there to there. Okay, and I'm going to do another center line from there to there. Well, actually, what I am going to do, because I'm doing this, I'm just going to trim this. Okay, and I'm going to convert that okay, to a center line. And I'm then going to pick up a midpoint from there down to there. Okay, so I know that there is centre, but I've just got to double check because this may be wrong. Because I've actually put some dimensions on there of 2.75 from this, this edge. So I'm just going to have a quick look. That's 3.55. So actually what I've done there is, is not right. So I need to put that in at 2.75. Okay, it's moved it in because it's not attached to that line. So I know that that is the center of the area that I want to be in. Now, in here, um, you have a polygon tool. And that is a polygon tool you've, you've got there. So to try and make this easy, um, we'll try and use that first. So polygon there. And I'm going to pick up on that center. And I'm going to pull out. And the first thing you're going to tell me, I don't have enough sides. Okay, I actually need um, eight sides. So let's just go into this one here. Uh, I don't, let's see. Is that going to be right? No, I need to flat that side. Let's just do that. Just see if I can do this. All right, no, hold on. I could probably set this up beforehand. No. Let's just go down sketch. No, okay, let's start again. So let's delete that. Uh, let's just control Z, it'd be a lot easier. So hexagon. Right, I need eight sides, so change that first. Fantastic. Okay, and I'll pick my center point, pull that out. Now what is interesting here, it does it at a rotation. So I need to get that degrees to where I need to go. So now I know that, I probably could actually work that out myself because I think that's BA. Um, let's go out that way. That would be easy. It's got to be uh, that degrees. Okay, so I lost that. So let's go back on it again. So eight sides in the center point there. Now I could do that slightly offset because a little trick here you can do. If I go onto that there and do that, it brings it in horizontal. And I'll get my dimensions from here and you'll see um, that I have I put the dimensions down? Oh Mr. Brand, how could you not put the dimensions of this down? Now I have actually 480. So between there and there is should be 480. Okay, it just gives me a bigger um, section there. You can see it's starting to get defined. What I need to do, or what I can probably do now, is actually get rid of that center line there for the meantime, and actually get this to be on the center point. And it's all gone black now. So I've got my outer um, ring um, there to do what I need to do. Now this should have a little bit of taper, and if you can see on there, it's actually got two degrees. And that's from the center picture. So if I go to features and I go extrude boss base, okay, and I just flip it over slightly, and I need to go up four and a half millimeters. So I do that and go 4.5, okay, and uh, add a tapering of two degrees. 
Right. So that's the hard part done. Okay. Um, I'm not going to mirror yet. But. Um, oh, I've gone upside down. I don't want that upside down. Let's just turn it back that way. So what I need to do now, if you can see on there, there is a flat um, on the side, which I, again, I need to put measurements in for you. But actually you can do it off the side because I've got 10.33 degrees there. Again, a very odd number, but these are very odd parts. So what we're doing here is um, from that point there to that point there, I need to draw a line in. So if I go to sketch, now I need the center plane here. So if I just go up to here and just check which planes I do have. Okay, I'm going to have to put a plane here. So to show my planes, just go to that little eye and do that. Okay, and that will put all the planes in. So which plane do I need? I don't have the right, I do have the right plane, I beg your pardon, it's that plane there. So go to sketch on that plane there. Uh, is it going to do it? Sketch. Okay, it's done it now. So I can now draw a line so anywhere I like from about there to there. I'll come back to that in a second. Because I'm actually going to take my planes out because it's very difficult to see. And I'll take that one out as well. Let's take them all out. Okay, so I don't know um, again where that line ends or starts, but if I go to Smart Dimensions, Put a line in there and do it on that one there. That's the wrong direction. I want that up there. And according to my um, uh, trusty piece of paper, it's 10.33. And that's perfect. Um, it hasn't got a base point, but what I can do now is bring that down to touch to, to a point there. It's actually to it is about there. I do need to measure where that angle comes in. So you'll need a height for that. So um, hopefully by the time you, you see this, I will have that in for you. Okay, I'll just double check the dimension just to make sure. Uh, so dimension from that point there to there, without my dimensions on. Dimension from there to there. Okay, is actually uh, 0.18. So once you've got that in line, um, again, go to f um, features, extrude boss. Um, sorry, I'm losing the plot. Um, go to extrude cut. Okay, go to thin features. And it also it automatically sort of works it out for you. So I'll just do that. That cuts off, so I've now got that part there. So next part to do is to put the hole um, in the top. Um, you'll see from the colour, it's a three millimetre hole. Now, go to sketch, sketch um, on that surface there. Uh, I probably should have done this straight away, but I don't think um, I can do this. Just on that way, no, just one second and I'll do this. So, yes, I am going to have to put a centre line in. Uh, and I'm going to do it from that point there, point there. So I now know that that dead center, get a smart dimension on that one. And from your drawing, I think that should be three millimeter diameter. Okay. And I, you, yes, you can see that's very close to that edge and it is, uh, there's no point. So go to features, go to extrude cut. Okay, and the depth is all the way back down to the plate. So you could go um, up to surface, click on that there. And there we go on that. So next thing to do is to then go to mirror. Okay, and we need to have a um, plane there to mirror against. It's down here somewhere. It's not that one. It's that one there. Perfect. Faces to mirror, bodies to mirror. Let's go faces. Um, you can just pick up your last um, one there. 
That's it, that's fine. Give it a green tick and it should. No, it hasn't worked. Okay. If I go back to that, go to edit. Okay, it's asking it's true cut six. It doesn't pick, that's just the holes. It needs that as well. Um, and it probably needs, um, yes, that is Arthur. No, I think that's okay. Let's just try it. Yeah. Um, and it hasn't mirrored the um, flat across. So uh, cut extrude is not that one, it's that one. So thin, that's what we need. So just go to mirror, go to edit mirror. Um, and actually just add that in as well. And we should be done there. Perfect. Okay. So we almost got the midriff uh, completed. We just need to go around with the fillet. Um, and I would do this at point two. Uh, five. Let's try that. We may change it back to point two. But let's have a look and see. So I'm just going to do that inner circle there. Do that there. And ideally you want to do all of those as well. Okay. Um, uh, if I just select one of these, that should do all of those, select all those for me. Just check what it's missed. It has actually missed one there. Okay, and I want to do the top. Oh, it's done it. Let's do the same again there. Okay, um, and the rest of it I would leave for the moment underneath here. If we can, I'll just put one in on there. And one there. I'm actually going to change this back to um, point 0.2, but I can do that afterwards because I've got so much there. Um, and where else do we have? Uh, leave it maybe just on these parts here. Um, that's my dog barking to tell me he wants outside, so. I may have to leave you in a second. Do that. And let's go into these bits here. And that bit there. That bit there. And it doesn't like this by the looks of it, but let's just try it and see. No, it doesn't like that. So let's just go back the ones I've just done. So let's just put a window over those. Take those out. Uh, we'll come back in again in a second with that. No, it doesn't like that last one, so I don't want to get rid of that. I don't want that face. Okay, this is why I take so long to do these things. Just hold on one second. I think he actually wants me to go out here, but uh, there you go. So let's just delete the last uh, one. Um, and. I don't know what that's done again. Let's delete those. And delete that again. Okay, that's fine. We're back in business. Let's do that. I'm actually going to change that to point two. Because I've also noticed something else as well. So let's go edit feature. And do that too. And I can change it here. Uh, okay, do it here instead. You can change it on there, like that. And I'm just going to pick up on these faces here. Okay, and do that one there. And it's that one there. So you can always go back in and change things. Right, I'm just going to do a little bit more um, before Doggy tells me otherwise. Do that at point two, let's do that at point two. Um, actually, let's click off that one. Let's do that one in there. No, it doesn't like that. Let's just agree to that. Let's just go to this side. I might have to go down a, a mark. Uh, to be honest, I probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. 
um, and actually just change those to point 0.1. Let's just see if we can change that to point 0.1. That might be better. No, it still doesn't like me. No, let's just agree to that. Okay, now let's go back in and do the other bits. It might like me now. Yes, it does. Good. Let's do that bit. No, it still doesn't like me. I might keep that clean. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, that's a better looking thing. And then I can go back in again. And do that. Okay, that's what I wanted to get at. But this, uh, this here. Um, and I'm just going to keep that clean from that and it's just if I can just do one more no it doesn't really like me at all okay fillets are um, if you can't do some face fillets you, uh, uh, fillets the way I'm doing them you can actually pick faces uh, and to see if it will do it that way yes it's done it that way so if all else fails on that and then I can go back in and do um, I might have to go really down in terms as point one. Let's go point five. No, it doesn't like that. Let's go point two five. Nope. Take that off. Again, I might have to revert to face fillets. See, they're going to do it. No. Okay, uh, let me just have a pull. Okay, I'm going to use the face fillet. So, um, going to fillets. Um, I'm already in face fillet. So, I can just select on there. And if I take it, it's going to do something funny here. Um, but I can live with it because this is minute scale. You see that's done that already. Just pick up on that one. It just gives a slightly better finish. It's not exactly how you would do it but it's fine for the purpose on there. And again, you would do the same the other side um, that we've got. So, or you could do all that on one and then mirror the whole lot across. It's entirely up to you. Okay, I've just had a little play um, and you'll notice a difference. I've just done the other side a slightly different way and it depends on how you actually select uh, the particular areas. If I go back to this one, um, and I go back to that there. So that's fillet 17. If I just if I just delete that for the meantime. Okay, if you remember what I did before. And I go to these ones here. Let's just delete that. Okay, and let's delete uh, that as well. Okay, so there's something um, quite strange. So if I go to fill it again, this time, if I just pick on that one and that one first, okay, then go back into fill it again and just click on that there and pick those little corners as well. Okay, and kind of agree to that. Okay, and then add a fillet. Ah, I've done, done it on this side, I did it on the other side. It's quite interesting. Let's have a quick look at this one. So let's just delete those out. Now that is interesting. Uh, how both sides would do something and it wouldn't do that on its own. So it's just. Uh, cancel that, take that out. Because that actually's done it quite well, that one. You'll have to play. It's the only thing I, I can say to do, and by playing, you're learning um, in that. So it's done that. And it's done that. 
that identical? Yes. Let's see if it does it now. Fill it on that one. Yeah. So both sides are identical now. So it really depends on what order or how you pick particular um, um, sides. So I would do there as well. Let's just put a little, um, not a rib, sorry. Uh, we'll come to that another time. Go on to fill it. And just click on there. And click on there. And that should be us complete. Now I could also go on to these here and just do those corners. Okay, just to make it tidy. But once you get your man assembled, um, you can go around and, and do it. And I might just pick that one there. That one there. Okay, I'm getting carried away now. So, um, and you'll notice it hasn't taken that there until you actually select the particular areas. So there are areas where you can look at everything to do, but you don't always want everything done. Okay, so I'd say that's your sort of midriff man complete. But what I'm going to show you just before I close this one video, because it's taken just about as long as the other, I'm actually going to bring back into play the other parts. Okay, but I'm going to change the transparency of this one. Okay, and you can see how that actually is supposed to fit in to those parts there. In that, so you actually see how they interlock. So this is the sort of detail that we want you to try and get to. Now I'm going to be daring here. Go into um, my cross section tool and just see how well I've done this. All right, so we've actually done it fairly well. There's a little bit of interference there, but we can go back and adjust that. And to be honest, there's a little bit of flexibility that we can play on um, to do it. So if you were to manufacture this, that would be not acceptable. You'd have to get that um, better fitting. And we are only talking probably, let's see if I can figure that out. Just a measurement between that face and that there. Right, 0 0.06 of a millimetre. So that actually may be acceptable. Um, because, I mean, it's normally 0 0.02. I think tolerance is maybe 0 0.01. But you want that little bit of springiness for the actual figure to, to hold together. So it really depends. And that again may be trial and error um, when you build your prototypes. Um, but we'll see how we go from there. Let me just put the head back on so you can see um, how far we've got. So again in here, just click on there. And there's a Lego man with his head. If I bring back in the real view graphics, some shadow and some perspective. You can see now that we are starting to um, come together uh, with our, our man. So I think next what we'll do is give him some legs and I'll do that in the next video.